Ooh wee. Welcome back to Sundown Acres. Well, good morning, everybody. So it's kind of a dreary day out here because I had a nice little rain come through Sundown Acres last night. Um, and it kind of makes a, for a nice day to get some things done inside the greenhouse. So today I'm going to be making myself a couple of wicking buckets. Uh, I built the greenhouse, finished it out in the last video. And now we got to start putting uh, things inside that we can actually plant our plants once they sprout. I got my seeds in. I'm probably going to try. This really isn't the time of year to plant, but we're going to run a little bit of experiment. We're in zone 8A uh, for planting. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to plant a few of my seeds and see if I can get them to sprout. If we get them to sprout inside the greenhouse, then, you know, hunky dory, you know. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you all how we're making the wicking buckets today. And there are hundreds of videos out there on making wiki buckets. Uh, if you haven't seen any of those and this is your first time seeing this setup, well, it, I think it's a pretty good setup. Um, the reason we built the greenhouse here at Sundown Acres is because the ground here is clay and I really can't grow anything. It would take a lot of work to get this soil uh, up and running. So, guys, I'm going to get started on this little project and uh, try to talk y'all through this as I do it. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a tub. Now, I picked these up for $5 each. Uh, well, I picked up six of them for, from an old couple, a couple of videos ago. Uh, and what these are are mineral tubs. And these things are super thick. They're gonna last forever. Uh, most of your farmers, ranchers, are gonna have these things uh, laying around if they have cattle, horses, anything like that. Most times, sometimes they'll give them to you, sometimes they'll sell them to you. A lot of people use these things for a lot of different things. They use them for uh, watering their animals. They use them uh, for wicking tubs like I'm doing, growing plants, trees, things along those lines. So uh, just check on Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace, any of those things like that, and then you'll be able to find somebody around you that has these things. You may have to drive a mile or two, but you'll find one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a, um, we're gonna have to drill a hole in the side of the wicking tub. I uh, you know it sounds kind of strange, but you don't want the water to be overfilled in these things when you're uh, letting them do their job. So what I'm gonna do, this is a four inch pipe, so I'm gonna go three and a half inches up on my tub, and we're gonna drill a hole. As soon as I get that. Tell you, sure. I'm glad I got two of these batteries. All right, hole is made. Now, what the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some four four inch drainage pipe. Now, I cut mine 
into uh, a 20 inch piece and two 16 inch pieces and they fit inside the tub, the bottom of the tub, real easy. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Uh, some people will just put the pipes in there and then cover it with landscaping cloth and I recommend getting a really good landscaping professional landscaping cloth. Uh, I don't know what the average years on a professional grade. The one I got, the one I could find, was a six year. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that in this and I'm more than likely will be replacing the plastic on the greenhouse before I'm replacing the landscaping call on the wiki tubs. So, Daniel Arms, uh, and if you've never heard of him, he's a fellow just north of me here up in Oklahoma, um, does a, a setup where he actually dumps, uh, puts the uh, pipes in there at the bottom and then just uh, covers the entire thing with uh, landscaping cloth. Well, you use, le landscaping cloth isn't exactly cheap uh, I got a 30 by 50 roll of this and it was about $16 a roll so I think this is a, a better way of uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, you know keeping it economical uh, you don't have to worry it does the exact same thing uh, you ain't gotta you don't have to go back and clip anything off make it all pretty uh, but what this is going to do is this is going to keep the soil from entering the pipe in which that's exactly what you don't want to happen when it comes down to wicking tubs. So we're going to cover both ends with the with a landscape cloth on all three pieces of pipe and then we're going to uh, cut a little hole. And this is gonna be facing, on this main pipe right here, is gonna be facing your uh, drain hole that you made. And what this is gonna do is gonna prevent the soil from getting inside the pipes. Uh, these have little slits in them already so that water is just going to wick out into the soil and the roots of your plant are going to grow down to it so it's going to give you a good strong root structure and a nice healthy plant so we'll get uh get the rest of these done up and yeah, get them installed
All right, so the next thing you're gonna need is a piece of one inch pipe. Now you can get this at Home Depot for about $5 for a 10 foot section. I like to keep my pieces at about 20 to 22 inches long, but it sticks up out of the bucket with no problem. And I can water my plants through it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take our 20 inch piece, we're gonna line it up with our drain hole there, three and a half inch drain hole. And then we're going to put in our other pieces. And there you go. So the pipes are in. Let's bring you over here so you can get a better look on the inside. So pipes are in. This way, no soil will get inside the uh, pipes. These little slits are too small for the potting mix I'm going to be using. So we are, we're always going to use potting mix for a wicking tub setup. Don't use potting soil or any other soil that you get around. Uh, it'll Potting mix will actually allow your plants to breathe better, and it'll be a lot easier for them to wick up through. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually make a nice little X right here on that center pipe and we're going to put our cut cut at an angle make sure you cut these at an angle guys it's kind of chipped with there but make sure you cut these at an angle because the water won't go in it'll take a really long time for it to fill this thing up because it'll be sitting on the bottom of this thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a little X inside this pipe and we're just going to shove this down inside that center pipe and it's going to be right there you can do it on either end it don't make it really really make a difference you can do it on you can do it on the side with a hole you can do it on the side where there's no hole um, but um, I'll tell you what we'll, we'll do an experiment we'll do one on one side and one on the other and see which one works better all right so let's get a little pocket knife out and we're just going to cut We're gonna cut a hole just big enough, an X, just big enough for us to fit that one inch pipe through. It doesn't take much to cut this stuff, guys, so be careful. Let's see if that's gonna do the job. There you go. So now we know that we don't have enough room for dirt to get down into the inside inside the pipes, but we do have enough room for the pipe to fit through. Okay. So our next step is to put a little bit of potting soil at the bottom of this thing, and then we're going to put a little bit of our fertilizer in here. And a lot of people have a lot of different. Uh, ideas of what fertilizer you use for what particular plants and the whole time I was growing up for our potatoes for our tomatoes for everything that we ever grew my father always used triple 13 okay and we've never had any problem and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a lot of guys come out and say hey you can't use this or you can't use that when you're planting this we've never had a problem with triple 13 uh, I've always uh, used uh, we've always used it the whole time I was growing up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up with potting soil we're gonna put just a very little bit of triple 13 down there because any fertilizer doesn't make a difference what it is if you put too much it will burn your plant so be real real careful with it um, some people like to put uh, fertilizer liquid fertilizer down through here uh, and you can do that uh, there's a lot of different water you know hydroponic fertilizers things like that that you can use and put down to continue to fertilize me I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit you know make, get, probably get a water soluble one and then just spray it around the top of my plants as I need to fertilize as we go on but we'll talk about that at a later date as we continue to uh, grow this stuff all right so 
So far, I've spent $12 on the piping, and uh, I still got enough to do another one. Uh, I spent $15 on the uh, uh, landscape cloth, and I've spent $10 on a 10-foot section of 1-inch pipe for this project. $5 for the tub, and we are uh, we're ready to put potting soil in it. Okay, so with the materials that I had today, I was able to make two wicking buckets. And just like I said, I'm, I'm doing a little experiment, see where if it does better closer to the weep hole or further away from the weep hole, so or from the drainage hole. Uh, and we're gonna see which one of these works better as far as growing food. Uh, it's going to, of course, that's going to take months and months to figure that out, right? So we'll carry y'all along as we do this little experiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some potting mix in this tub, well, in both of these tubs, and just a little bit of triple 13. And triple 13, guys, is, like I was saying before, we've used it the whole time. I was growing up. I mean, it's actually pretty warm inside this little greenhouse, even though there's no sun out. I'm actually got a nice little sweat going here, and it's like 65, 70 degrees outside, so it's not that uh, cold today. It's not that hot today either. So, but I got a nice little sweat going just sitting inside this greenhouse. All right. So, the potty mix I'm going to be using is going to be the Miracle Grow potty mix. Um, it doesn't make a difference really on which potty mix you're going to use. Uh, potting mix is potting mix. Uh, just don't use potting soil. You you want something that's going to breathe really, really well for these plants. So we'll get started on this one. You hear Luther in the background there. Now this is gonna settle, so you'll add a little bit more to the top of it as it go, as you uh, as it waters, it wicks up. Do not go overboard because it can kill your plants. You'd always fertilize a little bit more later, right? So just a little bit will be plenty to start off with. Uh, you can, like I said, you can add more to it later if you need be, but we're just now getting these things set up. And we're gonna make sure this uh, potty soil is nice and uh, fertilized.
All right, so now that we've got the wicking tubs set up, I'm actually gonna try to plant some, some seedlings and uh, see if we can't uh, actually start growing us a little something. So I've chose some uh, cold hardy weather seeds to start off with in the greenhouse. I don't have the rest of the wicking tubs or the stuff to make them yet, so the rest of it will come a little bit later. And what I'm using is peat moss uh, seed starting. Uh, peat, you know, I guess with seed starters. Uh, and these things are biodegradable, and you can cut, once the plants start growing, you can cut them apart. You can cut them apart to begin with. You can cut them apart uh, when they're ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to keep them together. That way I can just put one tag in each one so I know which one's which. And I'm going to um, cut them apart. And you can plant these directly into your wicking tubs. Which will be great for... Because they, they will actually dissolve into the soil. Uh, and the plant will just go straight through them. So we're going to get started on these. And what you're going to need... Of course you're going to need a water sprayer. A couple of toothpicks and your seeds. So what I'm going to start off with is my turnips. I, I don't know about y'all, but I love turnips. The great thing about turnips is you can eat the, both the, the root and the leaf. So they, make, they get added to salads. They, uh, you can uh, boil them. You can do all kinds of things with turnip leaves. So I'm gonna get started on these. And these are real easy to plant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to make about a quarter inch hole in each one of these. Not quarter inch round, but quarter inch deep. All right, we're gonna wet that end of the, your toothpick up. We're gonna reach in there and grab some seeds. Now all you need is a couple of seeds in each one of these little holes. And just kinda put them in there and then cover them up. And that way you're not putting too many seeds in there. All right, next up is some lettuce.
Okay, so I got the uh, few little seeds planted that I'm going to plant right now. Um, hopefully over the next couple, two, three weeks, I'll be able to get some more wicking buckets done. And we'll be able to uh, start watching these guys, little guys sprout. Alright, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And uh, we'll see y'all next time at Sundown Acres. <laughs>